Greetings, everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Make the Ukraine Great Again, um, Geopolitical Simulator 4. And like I was saying in the last episode, I wanted to show you some of these numbers of like who are the major countries in the world. United Russia has 31,000 tanks and armed cars. I wonder if there's actually armed cars or if that's actually 31,000 tanks. That is a huge number. Uh, so I need to start beefing up. But uh, for my allies, I have the United States. I have the next two. I'm allied with for tanks. Tanks, uh, 7,000 tanks in the United States and Turkey. China, I don't have an alliance with them. Greece, however, is number 10. Israel is in favor, but I don't want to get into an alliance with Israel because that might tie me into some sort of Middle Eastern conflict between the Arabs and the Palestinians and other countries that might pull in there. So I'm going to try to stay away from Israel. I might buy some, I might do an arms deal with Israel because uh, they are they are an arms producer. And with favorable relations, I should be able to get a decent rate. Um, but if you look down here, Greece actually has 4,000 tanks. They're pretty good. That's a pretty good number. Um, and then Romania, too. I have Germany. I have an alliance with Germany. But if I can pull... That's 10,000 right there. And that's 24,000. Still got a while to catch up to the Russians. But uh, Greece is not bad. And I looked at the rest of the stuff for Greece. Uh, they are 10th in armor cars. They're 16th in missile launchers with uh, 620, 6, 263. And they are 15th with uh, fighters. So uh, that's not bad. I think I'm going to try to pull them into my alliance. They're right in range. And they could probably act pretty quickly. There's Greece right ahead of us. Or right tied with us, basically. Um... They could probably join pretty quickly if war does break out. They are a NATO country. I might as well. Fighter planes, we have 203. And there's the Greek Air Force at 280. Turkish Air Force is pretty big. What else do we have here? Russia's Air Force is huge. Huge. The U.S. has the biggest, though. UK's decent. Nah, I mean, not compared to Russia or the United States, but decent for everyone else. So I think I'm going to pull into a, uh, set up a uh, Greco-Ukrainian alliance, I think. That might be a good thing. And I think it's time to make an arms deal with the United States. I was looking at some numbers here. They are pretty big. Based on my, uh, you know what, I'm going to set up a meeting with them, actually. Meeting request. Based on my previous uh, purchases, I did a calculation, and so far I am up to spending 400. Was it 400? Hold on, where did it go? Keeping track of all my purchases here. 464 million dollars per year for the next three years is where I'm at as far as budget surplus. I've also bought about 500 million dollars worth of missiles this year. Probably want to keep doing, which is a thousand missiles. Uh, I'm probably gonna want to keep doing that for a while. Build up my missile missile arsenal. I don't want to deplete the arsenal by attacking East Donbas. So I'm still looking to see if maybe the poles will get involved. Not seeing any troop movements here. There still is active uh, East Donbas rebels fighting in Poland. So I'm hoping they're gonna take action soon. And I don't see any other ships or anything moving into the area. Italy. There's definitely American bases around here. Where they should be able to support us. I don't want to deplete my missile arsenal because I need it. I'm going to need it. And I'm going to have to pull a lot of troops out of these bases here. Start moving them to the Belarusian border. Uh, the Russian border. And I like these two. I think this is the Dnieper Dnieper River. I don't know if that's if I pronounced that right. Uh, but ooh, our agents uh, managed to find locations of several rebel units. Whoa! Look at all these bases. The target is in position and under surveillance 24/7. Data collected by our agents will be regularly updated into the synthesis report that you will be able to review on file from now on. Good reading. Okay, we are now observing the leader of the uh, Union League. Uh, we should have a law getting passed.
probably okay we got a bunch of laws here the tax bill should be completed by the 28th and the uh, freedom of associations bill will be done on the 19th and then we'll try to get EU membership that could be pretty significant. All right, number of bases popped up here in East Donbas. I don't want to waste my missiles. I really don't. I know I have to take rid of, get rid of them eventually, but <clears throat> I want to see if the other guys get involved. So yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, war with Belarus would be if we could grab Belarus in sort of a blitz on their capital. That would be a huge coup for the West uh, against the Russians. And then maybe that would take out one of their allies and drive them back east. And then if I can expand into Moldova. So I do have agents in both these countries who are spying politically to try to find some news to sabotage their reputation and maybe bring them <coughs> into bring accusations against them. Oh. This could be it. Bring accusations against those countries in the uh, UN. And if so, uh, maybe Russia will abstain from vetoing if we get lucky. And then we can move into these countries and uh, expand our borders, making the Ukraine great again for sure, and weakening the Russians. At the same part. And then I could start funding this group too down here. Russian Brethren of Islam. They don't have too much money right now. They only have a million dollar budget. I could probably give them like 10 million. Just got back from weekend in Sweden. Uh, da, 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 same sex marriage. I don't think that would be holding me back for EU membership, but we're going to find out. Uh, I think once this week settles. I want to make sure everything is set and recalculated, calibrated, whatever you want to say. And then we'll go ahead and apply for that EU membership again. Not seeing any troop movements in Poland. Or Turkey, too. They could help us. They're right there. Oh, here we go. Our governmental cell informed me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. According to my counsel, All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and grab him. All right, meeting with uh, Greece. Coffee for you, sir. Sure. Splendid country. Uh, time to propose a military alliance with you. Let's see. Non-aggression. Refused. Really. We have such good relations. Maybe I need to, like, sell him something or buy something from him. Ah! Oh. Hold on. Let's see if I throw... If I can throw this in there. Would you agree to an alliance? Yes! Wow! Nice! Excellent! Alright, you now have access to my territory, and you are an ally. Very good! That worked out well. Alright, that's all I needed from you, Greece. Now we got another ally on our side. Hopefully they can intervene in East Donbass. Public finances are looking good. And it is Monday. 2.8 excess. Here's a meeting with the United States. Okay, time for a big deal here. No thanks. Oh yeah, he's got an ulcer. I keep forgetting about that. Oh man, okay, Obama, relax. Um, I'm going to buy something. I'm going to buy a lot, actually. I'm going to make a big deal here. We're going to go after the tanks. American, where are they? Oh, this is in sales. Purchases. Can I buy American tanks? 55 tanks. Not a bad price. The American uh, military goods are the most expensive goods in the world. Uh, but tanks are cheap. I'm definitely not going to buy fighters from the Americans or helicopters. I can get tanks, maybe missile launchers. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I want to go for all of them, actually. 
55. This will increase our uh, tank numbers up over 800, which will be significant. Um, oh, wait. They've got 118. I want to go for all 118. All right, that's a uh, $580 million contract there. Half another, another half billion. Which will basically have us putting like $1.5 billion on new military equipment. Time to lowball these guys big time. Let's see if I can get them around three. This might be insulting. Oh, 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 oh wow. Should be able to have a lot of negotiations with the United States because we have good relations with the United States. Keep bringing that number down big time. So I'm willing to go pretty far here. 5.8. Five point three eight. We're getting close. I think I maybe I can uh, give a little ground. Five point two two. Come on, keep negotiating for me, please. Ah, too many. All right, I gotta try that again. <laughs> Sorry. Almost at it. I had pretty decent prices. I can go for 522, I guess. 5.22 would be enough for me. But let's see if I can start at a lower price. So let's go ahead. We gotta get all 118 tanks. And I need a price. See if this works. I've offered better in the past. Okay, I guess I can't get away with that now. Tough negotiator, Obama. Come on, I'm fighting the Russians. I'm fighting Putin. I know you don't like Putin. I've seen you looking at him at the meetings, the world meetings. And Putin's kind of short compared to Obama. Oh, let's see here. Okay. Nope, I can't go that. Let's do 2.89. Good. Play this whole game again. Right. Oh, we didn't get a good price. As good of a price that time. Oh, what is going on here? I think... Five eighty. Ooh. 377. Nope, gotta go 401. 518. That's pretty good. Oh, this is even better than it was before. Let's see. I think I've gone up pretty quickly. 518. Oh, it's stuck at 518. Let's go 492. I gotta go. I gotta stick it at five eighteen next time. Sorry for the negotiations. <laughs> I know this probably is tedious for the viewers, but you're watching this for some reason, so maybe you do enjoy the negotiations. I know I probably would. I like the strategy. I like to watch strategy game videos, and that's one of the reasons why I decided start playing this game because I wanted to see more videos like it. So I wonder if I keep going up, if I give a little, does that mean that they're going to give a lot? A little more. Four oh eight. Five thirty seven. That's pretty good. 429, 520. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's do 4.68. I will take this. $611 million for 818 quality three armed 
vehicles and tanks. Over the course of three years, it's going to be 856. That is an insane number. Oh my god. 856 at a 518 price. And we've got 118 of them. That's a deal. This is a hell of an arms deal. But it should dramatically increase our military. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, game on. Uh, I think that's about enough dealing with you there. I just want to see if they are willing to sell aircraft carriers. Not that I'm going to buy an aircraft carrier or I have any need to buy an aircraft carrier. I just want to see what the... No, they don't have any aircraft carriers. Okay. I was curious to see what the cost of an aircraft carrier would actually be. Or... Uh, they don't want to sell me nuclear submarines or submarines of any kind. Other surface ships. Eleven. Huh. No. I don't need surface ships. Definitely not. Okay. Here we go. That's over. Militarism. National defense. Um, we're go for the U the EU. Here we go. Uh, other organizations. No, where is it? I don't know. Where was it? Wait a minute. Non-member. Join the EU. Okay. Let's see if we meet the Copenhagen criteria. Give it another shot. <clears throat> Russia network. Nice. We got a Russian target here. So we got uh, targets, informant targets in Russia and Belarus. That looks good. Okay, so far so good. And uh, did that other law pass yet? The 28th. The next bill will pass, and that, there it is. The vote was held, and the reform was adopted. Okay, we got protests. Hold on here, let me see what's going on. Federal, em, employer federal union, and National League for Industry Union. Let's see. I haven't got any reports yet, so I'm assuming that there is no information. Wait a minute. Let's go into this. Ongoing investigations. Uh, we're looking at unions. Did I miss him again? All right, I guess I can't. Since the Investigation is already ongoing, so I can't do anything. I can't add them. I just have to wait. All right, this guy's another one. Starting trouble. Let's check on you. Charisma is at 80. Degree of influence is 66. That's what the other guy was. High tolerance level. No scandal known. Communist. All right, let's investigate the communists here. All right, two people under investigations. And I can't find any information about them. Unless I go into unions. Federal employer union. Object of an investigation, but I don't have any information. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Not in great form at the moment. Not very influential personality. Development of 
Investigation difficult. The wary target. Okay, interesting. And this guy, what do you got? Any information? Not yet. Currently monitoring. Okay. Okay. So we're getting information. We're we're monitoring these guys, keeping an eye on these guys. Even though we just had uh, <laughs> a bill that said the uh, associations are completely free to do what they want. These demonstrations have not led to any type of violence, though, so far. <clears throat> so, I'm okay. And as far as... I want to see what the... What is that? The boat was held. Unfortunately, the report didn't pass. I don't know what that was. I have no clue what that was. On the 29th? So we should be recalibrating here. It looks like it's coming to the end of the episode. I just want to see what the numbers are. The investigation on the ground into the attack and the information that is feeding back from our different networks leads us to the conclusion that this terrorist organization is indeed behind the attack. Wow. Okay. Your commitment to the A lot of support from the families. And I think, whoa, look at that budget excess, 6.5 billion. Okay, 6.5 billion dollar budget excess, what is that? Damn! Can't get into this EU to save my life. After examination of your file, the Economic and Social Committee of the UN considers that inflation in your country is too high. Ah, killing me, inflation. Uh, therefore, constrained to refuse your membership. Oh, no. Economy's too weak. Inflation got me. The target is in position and under... All right, observing that guy. Uh, bargain concluded. Ooh, with an agent of Belarus, Minister of the Environment. All right, so now we have an uh, informant in the Belarusian government. Uh, we're monitoring two of our union leaders... Uh, we're looking for an informant, uh, we're targeting an informant in Russia, and I've uh, infiltrated East Donbass. Um, that's the situation. Inflation is probably still skyrocketing out of control. Oh, 79. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass another big tax bill, I guess, uh, which is going to create a huge budget surplus, which will pay down our debt and buy more military equipment. As far as our army is concerned... Ooh, 173 tanks on the way. <clears throat> Might be time to deal with the Israelis in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel and uh, donate to me on fan funding if you'd like. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode.